lovelies, this is Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of lip flowers in the United States. Today's tutorial is going to be a little bit different. There's going to be um, a lot of talking, a couple field trips, and just the most gorgeous pieces possible, hopefully. Fingers crossed. another tutorial. This tutorial is a little bit different in that we're going to talk about what's going on. Uh, we'll go on a field trip, uh, prob probably two field trips, maybe three. Um, and we might make a little bit in between. We might not. Actually, I think a lot of the making is going to happen in other tutorials. Okay, all of this doesn't make sense. So let me tell you what we're doing. You guys, we have a photo shoot coming up. Now this is a little bit different than the last video we did where I had done a stylized photo shoot. Um, I was just handling the florals. Um, I, I hadn't like, I didn't have the vision or anything like that. I was just told this is the style, these are the colors, um, you know, make us something beautiful. And that was a ton of fun. This time we're actually working with a photographer um, and it's all of our own like stylized, what we want to do to create um, our photo shoot. So um, what I think we're gonna talk about for this particular run, so we're doing a ton of photos. Um, we do photos quarterly uh, with a local photographer that's local to me, which is absolutely amazing. And this time we're gonna get, we're gonna push the limits of what we can do um, for one of these photo shoots. Normally there's just a lot of bouquets and arrangements and things like that, and they're lovely and we love them, and we'll be doing a whole bunch of those. But we also decided, Maggie and I made the decision, um, we wanted to do a tea party, like over the top table setting, which sounds lovely, but once you start like going through all the details, it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. So um, what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna show you what I have and like the vision and how like what I do to like prepare for this. And um, there, you can see behind me like a million flowers. I've already been, I didn't fo or, like film all of that because it was hours upon hours and I didn't want that much b-roll um, to have but basically dyed hundreds of flowers stemmed them that took like a good three hours and um, now we're gonna start getting to the creative part of it but let's rewind a little bit and let me show you all of the stuff all the stuff we're gonna need for this uh, magical tea party uh, stylized shoot First up, teapots, a whole lot of teapots. I also have from a previous tutorial, I am not gonna make more of these. These traumatized me, I'm not gonna lie. It was one of the longest tutorials I've ever had to film. Um, they, it was, it was interesting, but I made two of them at that time. So we've got this guy over here and the creamer over the top and then this lovely guy. So those will be in the photo shoot along with all of the teapots I've like accumulated, not all of them, there's more, let's just be honest. I have a stash, I have a stash of stuff. Um, I used to like do vintage, I sold vintage things and stuff, so I, it just comes with the territory. Um, I also have a whole bunch of beautiful, like we're gonna do mi mixed and match plates throughout. Um, so I went to my absolute favorite thrift store. This I found at the thrift store and I'm like 99% sure I had like a whole set of these. But once again, like I said, I have a stash. I don't know where I put this in my stash. So I've got a hunt for those. Um, hopefully I can find them and I didn't donate them. I, that happens. Like, you know that one time you're like, I'm just gonna give it away. I'm never gonna use it like I thought I was. And then you decide to make a magical tea, like tea party this photo shoot and you no longer have the magical plates that you used to have. That would be my luck, but hopefully not. All right, that's not all though. Let's see how much we can fill up this table. Thank you. 
So I got this, and I can tell it smells <laughs> like, I don't know if it was baby powder or something, was, but like some sort of cosmetic was put in there. I don't know, I haven't opened the top yet, I'm a little nervous, um, but it just reminds me of like old grandma smell, which I kind of love. So I'm not mad about it. But I think what we're gonna do, the top's gonna come off, and I'm just gonna use this as like an over the top kind of flowing arrangement and have this as our like base that's gonna be a really unique kind of base. Oh yeah, I found a little bunny. I did. He'll get snuggled in there somewhere too. So there is the stash so far. I need to put flowers in all of these pieces and or most of them, sprinkle them throughout. Um, we are gonna go on a field trip though because I'm not done. I know I'm not done. I know this looks like a lot, um, but I, I don't think it's everything that we're gonna need for what we want to, to achieve. Um, in particular, I need some old books, which I have two book walls that we've made. Um, yeah, I think both are both up here on YouTube. The spring one is for sure. There might be a winter one too. If not, it's somewhere else floating around the inner interwebs. Um, but I'm, I'm not gonna be using the book walls for this and I'm not taking them apart to use those books. So I've gotta get more, <laughs> more books um, for that. And then I'll show you the one other thing. Oh, we've got two other things. All right, let me, let me go grab them and then we'll go on a field trip. Cakes, fake cakes. Um, I will also link the tutorial to that one. We've done that one a long, long time ago, um, but I made one that's more the color scheme that we want for this particular um, photo shoot scheme. Um, when you're doing something like this, Pinterest is your friend. I went on Pinterest and I created a mood board, um, just little bits and bobs of pieces that I absolutely love that I wanna make sure that we incorporate. Um, I'm also going to possibly sprinkle these in. Uh, these also another tutorial. Boy, we're gonna have nothing but a library of tutorials in the description for this one. But these I made so that you could actually take them out. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some new ones to match the color scheme of the tea party as well. So those will get sprinkled throughout. This one I think could actually go in without too much damage in that one. Yeah, so that's gonna be fun. We'll sprinkle those throughout the, the photo shoot as well. And then the last thing that I got, and this was based off of just seeing what um, my like ideas of what I was seeing. Ooh. Ooh. Guys, I just had a genius moment right there. I don't have to make full bouquets. I can just get a little. Ooh. All right. That might cut down my making time quite a bit. I ain't mad at all. But the other thing I found is that I was gonna need um, an insane amount, and a, an exorbitant amount, a very large amount of moss. A lot. This is the most moss I've ever had in the studio at one time. I always buy it in just a bag. Did you know you can get it? And like, I think they called this three pounds. I didn't weigh it. I don't know if it's three pounds but it's a lot of moss. <laughs> I also got some sheet moss and things like that um, for other items, but I figured we're gonna be filling all these cups with moss, I'm gonna need a lot of moss. So that's where we're at in the planning stages. Uh, we're gonna go to the thrift store, hunt for a couple more cute little uh, cups or little items, maybe some other pretty plates, and also books. Lots, not lots, but a decent amount of books. We're going to do a couple things with books for this tea party as well. All right, so let's go on our field trip. Are you excited? I'm super excited. Get your jackets and your coats. It's still winter, even though I'm going to pretend it's spring with everything I'm doing. All right, I'm at my local thrift store. We'll see how courageous I get with filming. I think you remember the last time we went on a field trip. Mm, I hardly filmed because I got super nervous. Maybe with a mask on, I'll feel more courageous. Who knows? I don't know. But let's go and see what we can find for the tea party. So I didn't film much inside. I did film one thing and we'll put it over here while I'm talking because <laughs> it's in the car. 
Um, I found a couple other things that you'll see soon. Those are going to be um, projects that are coming soon or before this, depending on when they go live. Um, but I didn't find a lot of books. Um, they actually didn't have that many this time, which is weird for this particular thrift store. So I have another one in town we're going to go to, but I did find this lovely painting totally for myself. Um, and there was the sweetest man. It was like, are you thinking about that painting? I was like, I am, but they don't have a price on it. And he, I was, he's like, does it get a name on it? And I was like, it does. And I was like, I have no idea who that is. He goes, oh, I know who that is. And then he pulls up eBay listings and tells me, you know, they go for anywhere between like 20 to 150 some dollars. I got mine for $6. <laughs> It's going on my mantle. I'm not selling it. Plus, it's got a little bit of damage. But it's just a really shabby but beautiful floral piece. So I'm excited to get that up on our fireplace uh, and do a spring overhaul of the fireplace in our kids' homeschool room. So do on that. Um, but now on to the next thrift store. And maybe I'll not chicken out and I'll actually film in there. I am looking rough. <laughs> So, um, in the, uh, like putting all of this tea party together, we decided, um, me and Maggie that it would be cool to have a couple extra details. So I was on the hunt for, I'm never going to say this right. Macaroons, macarons, these, yay, Aldi's for the win. I found a whole bunch of Aldi's. I couldn't find them anywhere else in my local town. And I knew if I couldn't find them there, I saw them at Costco last week. So I was going to have to all the rice go to Costco and I really didn't want to just for, macarons macarons so yay all these got a whole bunch of boxes of those as well as um this whole photo shoot i have hardly seen my kids because it's just been um i've been in the studio till two three in the morning um every day just creating and all that fun stuff so um i got them shamrock shakes that's the one thing at mcdonald's i'll let them have um, once a year so um i'm gonna surprise them with those as a Sorry, mom hasn't seen you for a week, guys. I love you very much. Have your shamrock shake. So I'm gonna go surprise them right now. So we just wrapped up the photo shoot. A uh, funny thing about the tea party in particular is we needed a table and the photographer didn't have one available. So, um, took apart a table that's in my house and we brought it on over to the shoot. So fun, a lot of fun. <laughs> it's going to be amazing though. I cannot wait to show you guys the pictures, which should be happening shortly in this video tutorial coming up soon. I also want to, um, we'll go back into the studio and I'll talk about a couple of the things that I did to make this shoot happen and make it easy to transport. All right, we're back in the studio after the photo shoot. Um, I wanted to go over a couple of my thoughts, uh, the process, all that stuff. Um, maybe we'll get fun with our vid video editing. The one thing, I had an aha moment. I think we saw it way at the beginning of this video. I don't know how long this one's gonna be. Um, but I was like, I wonder if I could put all of the flowers on like, round little pieces of wood and by golly here's the base well a teapot and here's a little wrap it worked so well um it was super helpful in terms of transporting so i had just all these little floating flowers all over the place and then i didn't have to like juggle them in pieces um the thing I did with all of these is I used similar greenery throughout, so it was all cohesive, but all a little bit different. For the most part, I did like groups of three flowers or I'd throw in a couple little extra small ones, things like that, uh, but it went together so well. I loved it so much. Uh, I'll probably do that for other things as well. Um, it just worked really, really well. And then after the fact, I thought maybe, and I don't know if this will work, I do have my door in the studio is metal, so maybe I'll just pop some magnets on these and pop them on the door and see how they do for a little while as far as if they slide or anything. Because they're, they're not super heavy, but they might be too heavy for magnets. I'm not sure. So, but how cute would that be? Even to like have an event and then just be like, here you go, pop it pop it on a cup, pop it on a vase, 
and you've got yourself a cute little arrangement without all of the extraness to it. Um, it also gave me a chance to stretch out all of the greenery and the flowers and everything else. So it was super full and lush and all this fun stuff of what we wanted, but with a lot less material than if I was building it outright. So um, that was a ton of fun. My other like takeaways from a stylized type shoot um, the tea party in particular was days of preparation. Um, so much as far as we really wanted it over the top. So hunting down books, getting all of the teacups. Um, last minute we grabbed, I never say this right, mac macarons. Hopefully I said that right. You'll tell me in the comments if I said it wrong. It's not the coconut ones, it's the other ones. The ones with the really good filling inside. Found those, added those into the details, all that stuff. So you get this huge amount of stuff set it all up, take the pictures, and then you're done. And it's almost this like sad, like all like week of work. And it's wrapped up in like five minutes once you get everything like built up the way you want. The pictures are gonna be amazing. Well, you're gonna see them. The pictures, hopefully, I think. I haven't seen them yet as I'm filming this, but I have faith they're gonna be amazing. So, um, super excited about it. It was a fun, um, challenge for myself but I, I next time my expectations and I should have known this already but my expectations of like just remember all of this work but it's gonna be it'll be over very quickly but it'll all be worth it because then they're captured forever in film so well digital maybe I'll print it out I never print out the pictures maybe I should do that why haven't I done that maybe we should print some of our product pictures and pop them up on the wall or something. Anyway, so there's my takeaways on that. A ton of work was so much fun. Um, I also just get to work with um, an amazing photographer as well as a stylist that it's a packaged combo and I love working with them. Um, so I can uh, give them the, the direction I want and then let them do their magic and their expertise and things like that. So it's kind of cool to step back and watch them do their magic too. So. Um, it was a ton of fun. If you have any questions, as always, drop them in the comments. We will answer those as soon as possible. If you're new around here, want to like check out what what are, what's all this, what's going on over here, go to ohyourlovely.com and for your first order, if you wanna try out the solo wood flowers, greenery, craft supplies, all that stuff, use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. All right. I'm gonna take a nap. Um, while this was happening, I was m making a million other things. Um, you'll see all of those videos before and after this one goes up. Um, I'm exhausted. I am, I am, I'm exhausted. So hopefully this, this week after the shoot is kind of a little bit chiller. I, I get to go to bed at a normal time um, and get back into the to the swing of things until we go crazy again, which we always do. So, and then have some other big project that we're working on. But for right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy just 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 chilling, just for like two or three days. All right, guys, we'll see you super soon. This is Stephanie from Your Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.